Good morning guys! Uh, today we are prepping for Hurricane Florence and I thought I would bring you guys along. I'm waiting for some laundry and watching Emily from the Jackson Hive. I've got the kids clothes packed. Um, right now it looks like it could strengthen to a category 5 hurricane. Um, so we're still undecided where we should go. Uh, this is my current situation. Kids suitcase or bag, mine and Brian's. And then I had to go through that. Um, yesterday I was able to um, clean up a lot and take pictures of stuff for the insurance company in case anything did happen. I'm kind of sad, I don't want to leave. We just got new furniture. Uh, this is our new kitchen table. We got just got this. There's Crystal. There's some socks. And we got this couch. So, say hey, Crystal. Hey, friends. So, yeah, we got to do some cleaning. We got the front door open, but... A brand new kitchen table and now I'm not sure if it's going to be here when we get back. We did get this bed too. Uh, same bedding right now because we haven't been able to get new bedding yet. Uh, just trying to prepare for this hurricane. What's the matter? She wants me to hold her, hold her. My hair is still curled from yesterday. Whatever. I'm waiting for Brian to call me and let me know if I need to go out to the gas station. A lot of our gas stations are... Um, out of gas so I did I did it I was able to go to Walmart last night to get Bristol some diapers because she was almost out uh, what is it hold, me. hold you okay come on hold you. <laughs> your mom's baby mm -hmm. mom's girl are you ready for this hurricane mm -hmm. I came in the bathroom so I could get better lighting all right, let's go. We got to finish packing and cleaning. So, no, you don't need any tools. It's your daddy. So I got to finish clean up the house. And I got to finish taking some pictures of everything for the insurance company just in case. Um, I've started packing. We've got all our electronics and stuff charged. Come on, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I do not think so. Come on. Come on. She thinks she's gonna dump that whole basket of balls out. Not cool, Bristol. This is good lighting, look. Look. So yeah, we are going to finish doing that today. Clean up, and as I do things, I will check in with you guys. Uh, I don't know what to do, I'm kinda nervous. I don't really wanna leave my house. But with 100, yeah, 140 plus mile per hour winds. You want to buy that? Every toy that comes on TV, they want to buy. Thanks, TV. Um, so, yeah. I think we're going to have... Uh-oh. You okay? I think we're going to have uh, really bad winds and flooding. I'm scared to leave because I don't want to be able to not be able to get back home, you know? Um, so, we're still undecided, but I'm just going to pack and clean just in case. So I'll check back in soon guys. Hey guys, just checking in. I have got the living room all cleaned, cleaned up. Laundry all put away. Vacuums. Got the dining room all wiped down. Kitchen is sparkling clean. All the dishes washed. Emery sits still on the couch. Floor clean. Laundry room somewhat clean. That's our trash. I got a load of clothes in there drying. But so far, girls, take your toys to your bedrooms. Go to your bedroom because I asked you to. Go ahead. Emory, you too. Turn the light on. That is where I'm at right now, guys. Hubby is 
out making sure everything has gas. He's getting a tire fix for his other truck. He's gonna come back home and get my car so it can get gas. I have half a tank, but I guess he's gonna go ahead and fill it up. So I'll see you guys soon. This is a different day, but I got busy yesterday, and we are definitely gonna leave in the morning. Uh, the hurricane has turned a little more south, but we're still just trying to be prepared and keep ourselves and the kids safe. So I think I'm gonna go outside and get some good pictures of our house. Um, but like I said, insurance purposes, and so we'll um, know what is what and what everything Oh, sorry the cat just jumped up here he came in um what it where everything goes and you know to see what happens after we get back home uh we were gonna stay in charlotte now we're gonna stay in thomasville which is about 30 miles away from Asheboro zoo i'm hoping they don't get a lot of stuff like wind and rain and stuff and i hope we can get back um we are planning on staying away for three nights don't want to leave my house y'all but I gotta do what's right for my kids. So, with that being said, I'm going to get my tripod and go outside and get some pictures and show you guys what it looks like before the storm. I really, really, really wanna go to the beach to see everything, but I think they've evacuated everybody. Um, so I'm not sure I'll be able to get down there, but I'll be back. I could not find my tripod, of course. When you need something, you just can't find it. I'm outside, can I get some pictures? Front of the house, back of the house, all that good stuff, just in case, you never know. Ooh. My husband and my father-in-law are out there moving boats and all that good stuff. So let's turn you guys around so you can see. This is the day before the storm is supposed to hit. Beautiful skies, beautiful weather, and we have a major hurricane coming. A lovely house. Neighbor's house, I hear some generators going, they must be testing them out. Yep, there he is, I see him. All right. Got some pictures of the house. All the trees before. Hurricane Florence. Just taking it all in. There's all our junk. Father-in-law's over there. We got two Bradford pear trees left. Trucks some boats, some tractors, everything. Let's go see if they want to talk.
Party poopers. They didn't want to be on camera. But they're trying to get everything tied down. I think a category four was 140 plus mile per hour winds. We have so many trees around our house, you guys. I'm just admiring it because I know like some of these, they're gonna fall, no doubt. I don't think any could actually touch our house, but we've been having a little bit of rain, so the roots and stuff of the trees, it's not, you know, you just don't know. Oh, so sad, you guys. I'm gonna leave all this. Look at it. Wind is blowing, and it is just beautiful. Taking it all in again. There's our other Bradford pear tree. <sighs> the last hurricane, I think it was Hurricane Matthew is the one who took our willow tree and two more of our trees. So anyways, I want to show you guys what we packed, like food wise. I'm gonna be dark for a second. Hey! All right, go in here. This is just what we've been picking up. Daddy's not in here, baby. We got some, some bread and some of these cereals, some crackers, some diaper wipes that are open. I'm not sure who put that in there. We got some boiled peanuts. Sarah, I'm gonna think about you when I eat these. I will definitely be sending you some when we get back. Peanut butter, some brownies. Some of this milk to go with the cereal. What do you think about the storm, Bristol? The storm. The kitty. Yeah. So yeah, we just got some peanut butter and jelly, the snacks. We're gonna be at a hotel. My husband dipped. It's disgusting, I know. Sunflower seeds. I'm hoping before we go. Um, <laughs> they're enjoying the cat. Where we go, it won't be get too bad, so we'll be able to go out to dinner or lunch. Be careful, he's gonna scratch you. Got the kids some juices and some diapers and wipes. And here's our suitcase. Still empty, but I'm working on it. So we're working on it? Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a thumbs up. And I'll definitely be filming some of our trips to and from to try to get some footage. That's some mess in here. So everything's packed up. Nowhere to put anything. But again, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. And prayers to all the ones who are in the path of the hurricane. Bye, guys.